Action! Be a part of the fun. Nashville's premier tattoo and body piercing. Memphis and how great the fans were. Well, I have to admit, that's probably one of the best places I ever wrestled so far as just getting close to people. Not to mention, it was one of the friendliest cities I ever was in. Now, people are asking, where is Steve Kern? Where's Stan Lane? Well, I guess we were fortunate. We're kind of those unusual stories that after you've been an athlete, we went on, we did other things, we've got our own businesses, we got started back in other walks of life, and we fit. We actually fit in these walks of life. But the one thing that I would have to say is every time somebody brings up the, the town Memphis, I get that feeling like Monday night, Memphis Coliseum, the audience, the crowd, all the things that were so exciting to me. Miss it? Sure, I miss it. Do I want to go back? I'd love to turn the clock back and be there this Monday night with Stan Lane, Jackie Fargo. But I guess time marches on. Right now, I'm at home where I grew up, right here on the water. I'm back in my environment, and I love it. When you get close to the end of your career, you start talking about the hobbies you have, choices of golf, fishing, things like that. Well, I guess you'd have to say Steve Kearns turned into a fisherman. My life is the water. As you can see, this is where I spend my days fishing, scuba diving, just doing things in the water. When I get ready in the morning, every morning, I think about the past. I think about the things I've done. And I think about how fortunate I am. You know, I can walk. Everything on my body works. And after 30 years of getting beat up, that's a miracle in itself. Let me tell you something. If I was to ever say to a young wrestler getting started, where's the best place to get a good education in wrestling, I'd have to say Memphis. Nowadays, spending my time on the water, doing my deal with fishing, that's pretty much where I'm at. I will say this, though. If there was ever an opportunity to get back into wrestling, and it was my choice of where I would go or where I would live, I would have to say it'd be Memphis. You know, Dave and Corey, I know you're doing this show. I know it's memories, and I know you've got a lot of time in the wrestling business. But when you think of the fabulous ones, you got to admit, we did make our mark in Memphis, and we were remembered. I've still got family up in Memphis. You think I'm not ever there? You're wrong. You might want to stand back here a little bit here, buddy. Anyway, let's see what we can do. I was asked just recently, do you think the fabulous ones will ever get together again? Do you think there's a chance we'll ever see them wrestle again? Well, let me just finish this as I pull all of these fish out of Tampa Bay with this. You just never know. <laughs> hey, King, you know, last week you gave me a special little surprise.